Ever wondered why Melbourne, Australia is consistently ranked among the world's most livable cities? Imagine a place where culture thrives, where nature sings, where sport is religion and art, a language, a city that boasts of a rich history, yet pulsates with the energy of the new. Yes, that's Melbourne for you, loved by locals, adored by tourists, and respected by urban planners worldwide. Stay tuned as we delve into the heart of this vibrant city and explore its famous landmarks. Imagine standing in a bustling square surrounded by modern architectural wonders and steeped in rich cultural experiences. Welcome to Federation Square, or as locals lovingly call it, Fed Square, a place where the heartbeat of Melbourne resonates. This isn't just a public space, it's a vibrant cultural hub, a place where people gather to celebrate, to protest, to share moments of joy and sadness, and to simply be. The innovative design of Federation Square will stop you in your tracks. Its unique, deconstructive style is a visual symphony of geometry and modern aesthetics. The structures, clad in sandstone, zinc and glass, reflect the city's bold and progressive spirit. It's not just a sight to behold, but a marvel that invites contemplation. Now let's delve into its cultural significance. Federation Square is a melting pot of Melbourne's art scene. It's home to the Ian Potter Center, which houses the world-renowned Australian collection of the National Gallery of Victoria. Here, you can immerse yourself in the rich tapestry of Australian indigenous and non-indigenous art from the colonial period to the present day. Just a few steps away, the Australian Centre for the Moving Image or ACMI beckons film buffs and digital culture enthusiasts. From interactive exhibits to immersive cinema experiences, ACMI showcases the evolution of moving image technology and its impact on our lives. But the charm of Federation Square extends beyond its buildings. It's a stage for over 2,000 events each year, from multicultural festivals to large-scale protests, from live music performances to sports screenings. It's a place where every Melburnian's voice can be heard, and where every visitor is welcomed into the city's collective embrace. Federation Square is more than just a place. It's a living, breathing entity that embodies the diverse, inclusive, and dynamic spirit of Melbourne. It's a testament to the city's love for art, culture, and community. From here, let's take a metaphorical tram ride to another iconic Melbourne landmark. Picture yourself strolling through lush greenery surrounded by the serene beauty of nature right in the heart of the city. Welcome to the Royal Botanic Gardens, a green oasis nestled amidst Melbourne's bustling urban landscape. This garden is not just a spot of verdant beauty. It's a living, breathing spectacle of biodiversity. Imagine the sheer variety of plant life that thrives here. Over 50,000 individual plants representing more than 8,500 different species call this garden home. This diverse collection ranges from towering trees to delicate orchids, each contributing to the vibrant tapestry of life that makes the Royal Botanic Gardens a botanical wonderland. As you wander through this garden, you'll discover tranquil landscapes that soothe the soul. The verdant fern gully, the peaceful ornamental lake, and the mesmerizing tropical glasshouse are just a few of the sights that invite you to pause, breathe, and bask in the tranquility they offer. But the Royal Botanic Gardens is more than a kaleidoscope of botanical beauty. It's also an important space for relaxation and recreation, a place where individuals and families can escape the hustle and bustle of city life. Whether you're a fitness enthusiast seeking a picturesque jogging route, a bird watcher eager to spot a rare species, or a family looking for a perfect picnic spot, the gardens cater to all. Moreover, the gardens play a crucial role in promoting environmental awareness. With initiatives like the Children's Garden, which encourages kids to get their hands dirty while learning about the environment, it's clear that the Royal Botanic Gardens is not just a place to visit, it's a place to engage and learn. So whether you're a plant lover, a nature enthusiast, or just someone seeking a moment of calm in a busy world, the Royal Botanic Gardens offers a unique experience that's sure to captivate. Next, we journey to a place that offers a glimpse into Melbourne's rich history. Envision the roar of a crowd in a stadium that holds a special place in the hearts of sports enthusiasts worldwide. As the echoes of applause and cheer fill the air, we find ourselves in the midst of the grandeur of the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Known affectionately as the G, this magnificent arena is more than just a sports venue. It's a symbol of Melbourne's rich sporting tradition a testament to the city's love for cricket and Australian rules football. Dating back to 1853, the G stands as one of the oldest cricket grounds in the world. It's a living museum, each brick and stone whispering tales of legendary matches and unforgettable moments. 
The G has witnessed the rise of cricketing giants and the thrill of Australian rules football finals, etching these memories into its rich history. Architecturally, the Melbourne Cricket Ground presents a harmonious blend of traditional and modern aesthetics. Its grandstands, with a capacity to comfortably seat over 100,000 spectators, are a sight to behold. The Great Southern Stand, the Members Stand, and the Ponsford Stand, each with their unique architectural features, form the heart of this colossal structure. These stands collectively create an atmosphere that is nothing short of electric. The G is not just a cricket pitch or a football field, it's a stage where dreams are realized, records are broken and legends are born. It's a place where the heartbeat of a hundred thousand fans echoes in unison, where the thrill of a boundary or a goal sends waves of excitement rippling through the crowd. The Melbourne Cricket Ground is more than a stadium, it's an emblem, a symbol of Melbourne's sporting passion. It's a testament to the city's love for sports, a beacon that draws sports enthusiasts from every corner of the globe. Whether you're a cricket fanatic, an Australian rules football devotee, or simply a lover of monumental architecture, the G is sure to leave an indelible mark on your heart. Our final destination takes us to a place that embodies Melbourne's vibrant artistic spirit. Imagine walking down a lane where the walls speak, telling stories through vibrant colors and intricate designs. Welcome to Hosier Lane, an urban canvas in the heart of Melbourne, known across the globe for its dynamic street art. Every turn here is a twist in a tale, every mural a conversation, every graffiti a bold proclamation of creativity. Hosier Lane isn't just a street, it's a cultural landmark, a testament to Melbourne's love for the arts. It's the city's heartbeat, pulsing with the rhythm of spray cans and the strokes of brushes, the artworks here are as diverse as the city itself, ranging from politically charged statements to tributes to pop culture, from abstract impressions to hyper-realistic portraits. But what truly sets Hosier Lane apart is its ephemeral nature. The art here is transient, ever-changing. Today's masterpiece could be the canvas for tomorrow's innovation. It's a living, breathing gallery, evolving with the times, reflecting the thoughts, dreams and ideas of the artists who leave their mark here. This vibrant lane is also a symbol of Melbourne's creative soul. It's a space where established artists and budding talents alike can express themselves freely, where the city's eclectic spirit comes alive in a riot of colors. It's a place that encourages dialogue, sparks curiosity, and inspires creativity. Visiting Hosier Lane is more than just a stroll down a street. It's an immersive experience. With every step you're diving deeper into the city's artistic core, witnessing the transformation of ordinary walls into extraordinary masterpieces. It's a testament to the power of public art and the role it plays in shaping a city's identity. Hosier Lane is a testament to Melbourne's vibrant art scene, a place where creativity thrives and a must visit for any art enthusiast. It encapsulates the essence of Melbourne, a city that's bold, innovative and unapologetically creative. From Federation Square to Hosier Lane, Melbourne never ceases to amaze. So. What makes Melbourne so special? Well, let's take a moment to reflect on our journey. We've explored the Federation Square, the heart of Melbourne's cultural scene, and the meeting point for locals and tourists alike, a place where modern architecture meets historic significance, creating a vibrant atmosphere like no other. Then we strolled through the Royal Botanic Gardens, a serene oasis right in the heart of the city, a place where nature's beauty is on full display. From the ancient trees to the stunning floral displays, a place that serves as a reminder of the importance of conservation and our connection to the natural world. We've also visited the Melbourne Cricket Ground, the birthplace of Test Cricket, and the Australian Football League. A place that has witnessed countless historic moments and evokes a sense of pride and passion in the hearts of sports enthusiasts. And let's not forget Hosier Lane, a testament to Melbourne's thriving street art scene, a place where creativity is celebrated and where every wall tells a story. A place that is constantly evolving and never fails to surprise and inspire. In essence, Melbourne is a blend of history, culture, sports and art. It's a city that respects its past, embraces the present and looks forward to the future. A city that has something to offer to everyone, regardless of their interests or passions. One thing is for sure, Melbourne is a city that truly offers something for everyone. 